Hey, hi, I'm so glad you're here today, welcome. Uh, you're here today for Get Organized, an eight day boot camp to clear your clutter and open up some space in your environment um, for some amazing opportunities to flow in. You're here because most likely you have made the connection that um, your space actually has an impact on your life. In fact, we see it all the time. Your, your space is like a living, breathing journal for what's actually going on in your life. So it's an important way to take care of yourself and it's an important and really fun way to, um, to open up, to get clear and to reduce some of the stress and anxiety in your life. So today we are going to set ourselves up for success. There is nothing more to do today than lay the foundation. And this is where we often see clients getting off track. They jump in with kind of an excited, you know, I'm going to do this mentality. But um, if you haven't laid this foundation, if you haven't set yourself up for success, chances are you you may take a stab at it. You may get, a, you know, get pretty far, but you're never really going to get to the level of, of how we're going to work on this project piece by piece over this week. So here we go. I'm going to have you take a deep breath and just kind of Float through your space in your imagination. Notice where the hot spots are. Is it the closets? Is it the office? Is it the basement, the pantry, the attic? Kind of float to wherever that is. And then notice, how does it make you feel? Is it, um, is it giving you any kind of emotional feeling? Is it stressing you out? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel tired all of a sudden or sad? Or are there physical feelings? Are you, are you getting a headache? Are you getting a, that kicked in the stomach feeling, a stomach ache? Um, very often I hear any or all of these um, from, from clients when they describe how they feel when they're um, thinking about or in the midst of their clutter. So just note that on your, on your worksheet. Take another deep breath, come back, and let's, let's um, set ourselves up for a really successful week. So that's the first thing, really, building that foundation, getting very, very clear about how it's affecting you. So check, we've done that. Next, let's think about um, gathering up supplies. So very often we're going we're gonna to do the basement or do the garage, but we haven't thought about collecting boxes or collect, you know, getting some strong, sturdy bags to carry things away. And so we get stopped and then, you know, perhaps we go to the store or go, you know, to somewhere to pick these things up and then get distracted and you know how that goes. So um, let's set ourselves up, get bags, get boxes, and let's pick the space. Let's start, where, start smart by choosing a doable space and that's going to depend on how much time you have to offer so think about that too for the next week are you going to have 15 minutes a day are you going to have 20 minutes a day how about an hour some of you go-getters might have four hours a day what can you devote to a successful outcome for this project and then let's think about where will you start so let's say you pick your clothing closet and it's you know junky from top to bottom from front to back it's all jammed up underneath and um you know walking in the closet door just gives you that ugh, awful sick feeling and um, let's say you decided you're only going to be able to spend a half an hour a day for this week um, so let's just start on one side of the closet let's just start at the top um, let's choose one area, maybe from the top to halfway down, if there's, a, you know, short hanging things. Let's say, you know, you're going to designate those areas as the place to start. Because um, taking on the whole closet, unless you have lots of time, is, is going to keep you from being successful. So pick the spot, start small so that you can have some success, get your boxes and bags ready. Um, Think about other things that might get in the way of uh, a successful start to your project. You might need childcare. You might need buy-in from family. Make sure that the area you're picking is um, completely um, yours to make decisions about. So um, if you're going to be making decisions for others in the family, then you either need their permission or you need for them to join you. 
And then the very last thing I'm going to say about making this a successful project is to do something about your phone. So recent statistics say that we check our phones about 85 times a day. So I'm thinking if you're going to be successful at this, I would make a plan for your phone, lock it in the car, turn it off, hand it off to another responsible adult. Um, just set this side of time for you, for you to really take care of this and to um, and have some fun with it. So that's it for today. Here's to an amazing first day. Fill out your form. Uh, stay awesome. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.